Quit is about. <laughs> Our mirrors are streets of gold. Um, just wanted to show you how friends, you know, sit around after the uh, after the been working all day, and you know, we just sit around and chat and see how the day was spent. I want to give you stories of how some of these guys came here, and you know what what they're going through right now. How happy they are, you know. Sure, they work hard all day, but how do people feel at home? Um, it's two different worlds. People think here we're sitting around making lots of money, you know, we're living in Dubai. Um, but it's enough, you know, we, we eat, eat comfortably here and they eat like kings back home. So this is a good uh, good brother here I'm going to introduce you to. Please say your name. Usman, Muhammad Usman. Uh, so, Muhammad, how long have you been here? In Dubai? Uh, one year, one month. So, when you first came, what, what was it like? What was your job? Have you been here all this time or somewhere else? No, always. I was here. One year, one month. And uh, how did you feel about Dubai when you first came? Is this what you expected? So what he's saying is, it's not your choice. You come here because you need to be here. If you can find same kind of work back home, then you would have stayed back home. He's here trying to make a better living for his family and for himself. That's very good. I'm going to introduce you to another brother here. Hi, Shiraz. Um, Shiraz has been here how many years now? Four years ago. Four years ago. He's been here about four years, so he's the senior of this room. And the way actually he handles this this place is, is, is it's awesome. He, he's like a brother to everyone in here. Uh, people look up to him. Um, and there's no, there's no feeling in here that yeah. you're abroad. Like people living in here is like they're like it's the only family we got with we, with each other. Yeah, so we are family. Exactly. Everybody's family. We are family, yeah. family. Then we are stay here. Other, Other I mean, otherwise family. I am not family like a family feel the family better. I am not stay here. I can do that. I am very upset. Yeah, everybody go to bed. Anyhow, the point is, guys, it's not what you have; it's what you do with it. Um, it's not where you start; it's where you end up. And that's what you're seeing over here. This place that you're seeing is actually like a five-star hotel room compared to other places that I've lived in. Um, everything is clean here. There's there's fridge here. There's a stove here. Water dispenser. These are these things are unheard of other places. Um, but here, besides having all that, the I would say more of uh, the atmosphere here is great. You you don't feel left out like they they mentioned to each other. It's like they're like family here. Um, when a person's alone and they feel down and they they don't want to continue, there's always somebody here who makes you keep going. And that's the whole message of Streets of Gold is people come here with lots of hopes and dreams. Some make it, some don't. Some go back and some, you know, make, make the best out of it. Which I'm going to be showing you examples of other people who came here with nothing and made so much more. Like uh, brother here was saying, was, and I couldn't have said it better, is when you first arrived to Dubai, and you're looking outside and you say, you know, what's going to happen to them? Those people come here with no plan. They have no idea where they're going to go. And then you see them from five years from now. And they have everything. You know, they have a job, they have a car, they have a house, they have everything. They have a family. So Dubai gives you that chance. If you're willing to do it, if you're willing to go all the way, it's up to you. The moment you're going to stop, everything is going to stop. And all of us have the same goal is for us, for our families to be happy, for them to have a better future. You know, everybody wants the right to education, right to eat, right to practice their religion, the right to do everything, and everything happens here. I wish, I personally wish, I'm sure these guys will agree with me, is if Pakistan had this. If we had this freedom to do things. I mean, small things like we had this light, you know, we had electricity. We can take Pakistan so much further. If we had leaders like the leaders here, you know, we'd all be living a better life. So, you know, I would like to 
thank UAE, I would like to thank the, the leaders of this country for making it easier for us. Yeah. And, you know, this is a thank you coming from our heart. Uh, anything you can add to that? Uh? Yeah, I already told it to you because uh, Pakistan will have a bright future. And Dubai has a bright future, that's why we are coming here. You know that, because uh, my country politi politician is not loyal with the Pakistan. Here, in uh, Highness Sheikh Mohammed, he is a very nice and very good person. Because they are thinking about the everyone, every people. And I like it so much. My request to you guys is, this personally hasn't happened to me or any of these guys is, if you have somebody working for you, and then you're watching this, if you have somebody working for you, please pay them their wages that are due. Okay. Other than that, we're all happy. Once people don't get paid, that's when the problems problems start. And then Dubai's name starts looking bad. And it's not. We all know that that's not Dubai's fault. Okay. That's the fault of certain individuals who are taking advantage of the system. So please, let's together make this a better place. Once you start thinking that this is our home, Dubai is our home. I think we'll make it even a better better place than it is already. So that's my message to you guys who who's watching. Anything you guys agree with, disagree with? No. Yeah. Yeah. Pay the wages and everybody's happy.